Here we have the lovely Isun in his natural habitat. He loves sitting right there. Right on the back of the couch. Mostly because there's heat coming from outside or there's heat coming from the heating vent that's behind the couch. Either way, it's the warmest spot in the house, so he's made of warm. Also, you can't see much, most likely, due to how freaking bright it is outside. Good kitten internet, I'm wearing shades. Let's go Pokemon hunting. So, it's really bright outside. It's also really nice outside. I believe it's currently about 20 degrees Celsius. And I'm gonna do a quick walk. And before somebody mentions it, because a lot of you know me personally, um, yes, I should be wearing a hat right now. Bald head kind of means hat. But unfortunately, I know I have one hat at work, and I don't know where my other two hats are. So, it'll have to be some other time. This will be a relatively short walk though. So, 10 minutes outside, not gonna kill me. So, as kind of hinted at, I do play Pokemon Go. And I don't wanna say I'm super active, I've been playing since, what, July or August of the year of release, so nearly three years now? Is that three? Two? Whatever. Anyway, um, I mostly play because my creator plays, and it's one of the few things that we can actually still do together, even though we're very far apart. And, well... It's not like it really cost me anything. There's definitely been some negatives to playing, like for instance, I don't feel like going out anywhere unless if I can do Pokemons. My Pokemans. Uh, there's currently an event going on, so it's an Easter time event. It's almost though tomorrow is Easter Sunday. Oh, this is really difficult to try to do curveballs while um, walking. I will just not for the time being. I'll record a little bit, uh, of what my gameplay actually looks like when I get back home. I have the ability to stream my phone to my computer for recording purposes. I have yet to use it, but I can. Or I should say I have yet to use it beyond screwing around. So yeah, um... It's an excuse to go outside. It was an excuse to make sure I didn't stay indoors all winter, just most of it. Um, and again, it's quite the lovely day outside. Bright, sunny. Unfortunately, no green on the trees yet. Oh no, a horde of kids approach. Action! So yeah. How are you all doing? I've spent my morning futzing around with my PS2. I fixed my PS2 controllers, or controller singular, which is nice. Um, so I can actually, I was actually able to record footage from it, which I needed for my vlog from yesterday. Uh, the vlog from yesterday needed a lot of editing work, so. That was basically my entire morning was that, and then early afternoon I was playing Might Magic 8, recording for that. Oh, there's a bunch of kids coming, so I'm going to stop the recording and then start it up again in a bit. There, now there's fewer kids around. And I'm at a gazebo. It's a drag gazebo. I'm doomed. I'll just be consumed. It's too late for me. Anyway, um... So yeah, I was... Repairing my PlayStation 2 controller, repairing the PS2 itself, doing updates on my mods, because I was having some issues, and, well, um, the mod that I had was so old I needed to update it to be able to update it, because that's a thing. And all of that just so I can actually get a copy of a save from my computer onto my PS2 so I can show off Final Fantasy VII. Turns out my save is right at the beginning of the game. 
oh well, it was good enough for what I needed. Yay, sun current. Sun currents are cute. So, um, yeah, not very, really much else going on this morning. Uh, I'm kind of just taking it easy, trying to relax. I'm going to have to stay indoors, or nearby a computer, not necessarily indoors most of the day tomorrow, because I am on call. Uh, that was me trading a day, because I was on call last week. But I traded Saturday so I can go to the Midwest Gaming Classic. And in exchange, well, I'm going to be on call tomorrow. In addition, I need to work a little bit tomorrow because I took off early earlier on this past week because my friend was in town. So, yeah, tomorrow's going to be working. <sighs> my weekends are way too short. Uh, it's unfortunate. Do 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 Would actually spin the gym. That would help. I do have a device that makes playing Pogo easier. I should probably show it, shouldn't I? Maybe I'll show that when I get home, because I'm going to need to show things when I get home anyway. Why in the world am I on 3G? Ugh. Mm. In a city. Cell signal should be quite a bit better than that. I think it's just my phone deciding, oh, well, we're going to connect to whatever signal's available, and it doesn't matter how strong it is for data purposes, as long as it's the strongest signal, it's the best signal, right? <sighs> no internet connection. Still no internet connection. No internet connection. I have no idea if you can see. I can barely even see the viewfinder because I'm wearing sunglasses and it's super bright outside. And back to 3G. Oh, must be an issue with one of the towers in my area. My arm's getting tired from holding this camera up like this. I mean, this is just a short walk. I'm at the end of said walk here. Uh, it is my neighborhood where I have two Pokestops and two gyms right in a line, right across the street from where I live. So now I'm going to turn around and walk back. I'm not going to bother recording the rest of the trip because, well, I don't really have much else to say and it's really nice outside and I would like to enjoy it without having to hold my arm up. So talk to you when I get back home. Something I wanted to mention, but I couldn't because there were kids right around here. Um, we in Madison have these little free libraries. They actually started in Madison. I know they're outside of here as well, where you can take a book and return a book. So, these are the books currently in the little free library. Um, some of them are water damaged. I know at one point, um, some, somebody went through one of these and vandalized it. This particular one, that is. And threw all the books on the ground over there. Uh, this was while it was snowy out, so the books had some water damage, and <clears throat> very unfortunate. But I really like these little free libraries. Okay, now continuing my walk. Pokemon Let's Go! No, this is not Let's Go, this is regular Pokemon Go. See, I'm actually casting, you can see, we're in the same time. There's a very slight delay, but totally useful. Oh yeah, I can stream. Unfortunately, I am currently GPS drifting where I don't have any Pokemon, so I can't show much of anything. Let's do a trainer battle. I've actually never heard this music. I usually have the audio muted while I'm doing this, so. Oh, Magikarp.
But yeah, I'm a level 37 trainer. Um, and you can see where I'm tapping. That's where the circles are, for our friends. Whee! I should try recording one of my battles with my partner. So yeah, um, in Pokemon Go, you have the ability to challenge a trainer in battle. And I'm giving this information for people who may have played back in the beginning, but not currently. So you can challenge one of the three team leaders. Uh, your rewards are based off of what division that you're challenging in. Um, me being 37, I can go through any of the divisions. Uh, you can also challenge friends. Uh, so for an example, I could send a request for battle here. Uh, also, I need to give a gift. And gift to Kadeotur's accounts. I never realized that they actually had a sound effect. There we go. Anyway, um, so you can send gifts to partners. Um, I can see what they've recently caught and what they're walking, assuming that they let me. They are my best friend. Which gives us bonuses if we're raiding at the same time or trading Pokemon. Which is also something new. You can trade Pokemon now. It only took them two years to add the feature, but that's okay. Um, what else? Um, you can walk Pokemon. I'm currently walking uh, Kranidos. Mostly because this is the only one that I have. It's actually not that bad. Kind of cute that way. Um, it's going to take a long time to get candy, though. Every five kilometers I walk, it gets one candy. And it needs uh, 100 to evolve? 50 to evolve. Yeah, it's going to be a while. That's fine. So this lets me know I've walked 30 and a half kilometers this week. Which is yeah, about typical for me at this point of the week. I have an egg currently being worked on. Unfortunately for me, I forgot to throw something in my incubator earlier, so that was my fault. Let's me know what gyms I've recently visited, my badges. The only badge that I have not gotten anything in right now has been Cameraman. I think that's the only one at least. I have gold badges on all of the Capture X Pokemon of a certain type. I have all of them at this point. Yep, my start day is July. I wasn't entirely sure. So I'm a member of Team Mystic. I can customize my outfits. I can do poses as well now. That's new. But you have to spend Pokecoins for poses. So I can make myself look so much more cool. Like that, yeah. But it costs money. And I'm mostly free to play. Or I should say it costs coins. Um, you can get Pokecoins through means other than buying them, but buying them is the primary means, a la scrolling down here, and buying Pokecoins for real money. Um, these are the prices in the US, other countries have different sets of prices. Um, there are promo codes in theory, I have never seen one. You can now change your team by buying a team medallion, it costs a thousand Pokecoins. I have not done that. Mostly what coins go toward are either upgrades, either bag upgrade or storage upgrade, or alternately more incubators, um, either the regular egg incubator or the newer super incubator, which incubates eggs a little bit faster. These both break after three uses though. Um, the storage is permanent and a lot of these box I finally walked within something, so I can at least show what capture looks like. Ugh, I'm terrible at capturing Weedles with a curveball. It doesn't help that I'm recording this, so it's going to look quite a bit worse than normal anyway. 
Also, my camera should not be tilted up that high. You're staring at bright lights. You're still staring at bright lights. That'll work. Yeah. Capturing a weedle. I can analyze the weedle, or appraise the weedle. Blanche says that it's not likely to make much headway in battle. What that means is that it is the within the lowest 50% possible. Its best stat is defense, which is impressive, which means the stat itself is not that bad. It's probably the rest of the stats that are terrible. So this is going to the professor. I don't want it. Um, here are some of my Pokemon. My Pokemans, let me show you them. So this is sorted by order from highest CP or combat power to lowest. So my highest is my prize Tyranitar, which I cannot level up any further until I level up. It is 98%, which is that it's one stat off of perfect. I don't remember which stat off the top of my head. It's easy to find out. So it is breathtaking. Best attribute is hit points. Match equally matched by attack. So in other words, it has perfect attack, perfect hit points, and one stat off of perfect for defense. And it is below average in size. This ends my analysis. Farewell. Uh, this is a shiny Tyranitar. Uh, I picked this up during one of the events. This is my second best Pokemon because Tyranitars are very powerful. And uh, yep, now I can actually fight something else. So there's a Shuckle event that started today. So Shuckles are a lot more common than normal. Shuckles are deceptively powerful. Or deceptively strong in defense, I should say. And I'm doing terrible on my curveballs today, apparently. Yep, yep just doing terrible on curveballs. Apologies. I, I've never claimed to be any, a master of Pokemon Go or anything. I'm just a player. Caught attention, so that's the second to highest tier. Ooh, new Shuckle. Can I do any better for this one? It's lower power. That's more like the style of throw that I'm good at. Um, so by spinning the Pokeball like that, it causes it to go into a curveball. Curveballs allow you to capture Pokemon more easily and also give you a little bit more XP, as you can see in this screen, where it gives me an extra 10 XP for a curveball. A great throw is where I hit in, and you get nice throw, great throw, and excellent throw when you hit inside of that circle that's closing constantly on it. Um, if you hit it the circle at all, it's at least a nice throw. If you hit it when the circle is about halfway, it's a great throw. And if you hit it when it's very small, it becomes an excellent throw. Um, once more, they're worth extra experience, and it's also easier to catch Pokemon that way. I also gain a bonus for XP for capturing it on the first throw. So this Shuckle is not likely to make much headway in battle, and its highest stat is defense, which is not very good at that. Now I'm finally drifting into my backyard a bit. Like, the only creature in here is Illuminis. This is region-specific, which is to say that Illuminis appears in North America, and I think it's the Americas in general, but I'm not sure on that one. I'm actually hearing the music through the headphones, by the way. Um, because the way this streaming setup is working is that it's actually... My computer is acting like a Chromecast and showing me a picture of it on my screen. And then I'm using OBS to capture part of my monitor in order to be able to display it for you. It's also playing the audio. This one is above average, which means it's not very good for me. I have plenty of Illuminis at this point. So yeah, um, I was showing you my Pokemans. So I have... This is the legendary bird, Ho-Oh. Uh, it's the second generation of legendaries. One of my highest level Pokemon. I need more Ho-Oh candy though to level it up further. This is my most recent major edition. This is my Salamence. Um, there was a bacon, or bacon as it keeps getting autocorrected for everybody. Uh, there was a bacon event. Uh, was it last weekend? Yeah, it would have been last weekend. 
that happened during the um, Midwest Gaming Classic. And yeah, um, when those events happen, you're more likely to find shinies. This is the shiny Salamance, and it happens to be a fairly good one. This has a 38 out of 45 on stats, which is the lower end of the highest tier, which is perfectly fine. So I've been working on, I can actually level this up further. I'm going to. The sound effects are very cheesy. There's a reason why I usually disable audio. There we go. That's about as much as I can level it up right now. Leveling it up increases its stats, and which also increases its combat power. But going through, we have more Pokemon, and I actually have some Pokemon that are perfect. This is Nuptup, which who is named after Pro Jared's um, uh, Pokemon Nu Red Nuzlocke, is it red or blue? Pretty sure it was red. Um, where Nuptup was the name that he gave his Vileplume. Originally Oddish, but evolved all the way. This is mine. It is perfect, which is to say, when I appraise it, it is breathtaking. With best attribute of hit points, equaled with its attack, equaled by its defense. And its stats exceed their calculations, which means that they're all three perfect stats. Um, Nuptop is also maximum level for me, which is 37. So yeah. Right now, Nuptop's even better, because it's sunny outside, as you were able to see from the video. And when the weather is sunny, I get a weather bonus, which increases everything by, I think, is like 12%. I could figure it out if I was thinking. I'm not going to think about it. Yep. Paid Kevin is another perfect Pokemon. I mean, not a very good Pokemon, but that's fine. It's perfect and it's mine. As is BB Dog Doe. Aw, oh, yeah, BB Dog Doe. Anyway, I have shown you my Pokemans. I don't think there's much else to show. Oh yeah, and you can see up at the top, uh, my Pokemon capacity is 1300. I've paid for a lot of that. Um, not with real money, with earning money in-game. And I'm walking some eggs. Um, if I had multiple incubators, you would see multiple incubators going right now. I only have the one free incubator, so that's what I'm walking. Um, item selection-wise, I have 1100 item capacity. Uh, if I remember right, maximum is normally 200, so I'm fairly in. As of this mystery box, which I'm going to open it up right now. Which mystery boxes cause spawn of certain type of Pokemon. Which are all new to Pokemon Go. Right there. That's a Meltan. Meltan are unique to Pokemon Go. Um, they can appear in Pokemon Let's Go as well, but the only way they appear in Let's Go is if you trade it from Pokemon Go. That uh, was not a very good throw. So approximately every minute and a half to two minutes, Meltan's going to spawn for me for the next half an hour, which I'm not going to record all of that. I just wanted to show, hey, look, there's a Meltan. And yeah, some they'll be randomly good, randomly bad. This one's actually not that bad. It's not that great, but it's not that bad. But more importantly, I need 400 Miltan candy so I can evolve one of my Miltan up a bit. So yeah, that was a nice quick look at Pokemon Go. Um, it's not quite a let's play, it's just this is what I'm doing today. Hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you next time, Internet. Boom. Bum, bum. Boom. Bum, bum, bum. Boom. Bum, 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 bum.